This video is brought to you by Premium Beat, an exclusive source of royalty-free tracks for your creative needs. Hey filmmaker Shongli here, in this video I'm going to show you how to do this shrinking Ant-Man effect and it's like the same effect of the movie and the cool thing about it, uh, yeah, it's even though I'm doing it with a toy, you can do it easily with uh, like anything else, like an actual video footage. Here basically we have a footage that I shot with my phone and basically we're just putting the toy figure in down and letting it go and what I want it to happen is to have it shrink after I've placed it down. We're going to first make a new sequence and this time I'm going to actually go for 4K because we have a 4K footage and we don't have any other resolutions to cut through. So 4K cinema form and just gonna grab this where I'm going to put it down. So from here and put it down. So that's all we need not that much so we have here put it down longer and actually here we grab one frame already cut it here I'm going to right mouse click this to change to add frame hold and we're going to duplicate this and add it to the end and extend it and this we're going to move it up actually look at what time I want it to change so let's see put it down and yeah I think at three seconds just give it two seconds before it actually becomes small and we're going to move this under here so let's see some major change be there's quite actually quite a lot of change happening uh, when it he becomes small but it shouldn't be too much of an issue I hope but because his shadow is on the ground causing quite a lot of exposure change also here um, yeah let's grab one frame here oh, actually we're going to export a frame um, because we're going to do a cutout I know we can also cut it out here uh, in effects uh, but it's actually much quicker to do it in Photoshop because he's not moving anyways and actually uh, for any of the other like moving if you're jumping and everything you also basically do the same uh, just free as it is basically a freeze frame so we're going to export this frame out and go to this desktop and JPEG be fine and just going to here, drag this into Photoshop. So we opened the exported frame inside of Photoshop and first go to layers, double click on it, just OK. This separates it or make it possible to separate it to have like a transparent background. And we're just move using a magic wand. However, um, yeah, not every image would be that this easy to remove, but uh, I think also here we're going to get much in trouble. So here I'm actually going to be quite lazy and uh, use the yeah lasso tool. So once we cleared up the legs, we can now select himself now inverse selection so we can select everything and now everything is cleaned so 
we can now save this and export this as a PNG and let's do that quickly now we can import that PNG so we can put this over here and we can see even though yeah we can see the shadow actually disappear um, just we can try to mimic the shadow afterwards with something else so that's not going to be an issue so we have here the two images and comes this so we want to use the transform tool to actually make him smaller so drag transform in here so one thing what we want to do with at the transform tool is we want to change this anchor point we want to move it down so the reason for that we want to move it down uh, somewhere between his feet is because uh, if you normally uh, if a yeah a person swings down he shouldn't swing down to his belly button he should swing down to the ground so basically the normal way how physics should be uh, however now we need to move him back into place though I, I can just copy the numbers of what's on top of that and six and 188 6.8 that should give me the yeah about the correct size so just copy these once you change the anchor just the position should be the same as the anchor so now we've done that just here and change this to fit again so want him to scale down so make uniform scale so that looks actually quite correct where I place the anchor that's pretty cool I'm going to add a keyframe so we're going to hit toggle animation move it here so we're going to make this 20 frames, so we're going to hold down shift and arrow button to the right uh, four times. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's cut this section off and delete it. And we're going to add a keyframe here. So I well, already have the keyframe there and we're just going to make it go to zero to the smallest so you can see how it actually changes actually that is way too slow uh, let's make that faster so 10 frames that looks nicer That's not bad, but let's add a bezier here. I want it to be like instead of that it goes. Yeah, that looks better. Maybe slightly more. Yeah, that's way better. So with the bezier, what actually happens is that it's not like directly going, but there's like an increase in speed. So it's like first slowly and then basically slowly and then pop. But it looks like it's, it becomes bigger. That means the I did something a little bit incorrect with moving the bezier. be like that or that's no, okay okay so we made it 
15 frames now so it's not too slow or too fast uh, and 15 frames for 25 frames it looks perfect we're going to copy this uh, image or this to two times so hold down alt drag it up and up and we're going to change the mode to screen also the one below it change it to screen not kind of much but screen so we'll now move it we see it that he lights up but what we want to do is there's like an kind of echoey effect but we're instead of actually using the echo which uh, doesn't work that well when you have transform also added so we're going to kind of manually do a fake echo but also we have more control like this uh, let's actually uh, turn off one of these and this one we're going to instead of uh, moving these frames we're actually moving this keyframe and let's change it after two let's move this here and pretty much the same we're going to do on the one above turn this on this one we move at four so we're using the arrow keys to move the frames so one two three four move this to four and that looks fine actually maybe let's see how it looks if we use 10 frames instead of 15 frames so move all these keyframes here this one and this one how does that look that doesn't look that bad not sure why it becomes black here but let's do this And maybe we can add even one more. And have this five, six. It doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe some of the intensities we want to change a bit like the last one that it's not that extreme so we can go to the opacity and lower that maybe to 75 or even lower 50 one before to 75 so we don't have like extreme bright so that the last one doesn't look extreme bright so now we have finished the effect let's add some sound effects so here we have uh, several sounds loaded and let's actually listen to them so these sounds are from premium beats where you can actually get quite a lot of uh, stock music but also uh, effect sound and this one sounds more like an explosion so that shouldn't work Mm, this sounds more like a fabric being pushed. Uh, let's listen to this one. This fashion push works. This will be great for this. Uh, let's drag this down here. And also, let's 
dots here. So let's cut it here so it's much easier for us to pinpoint the location. That doesn't look bad. I'll actually half size this so you get the more proper. It doesn't sound bad. Actually, let's lower this volume to minus 10 because don't need it to be such a loud noise. Yeah, it works. So could maybe make it slightly slower because it's kind of already stopped here and we want it to go longer for a little bit so let's change this to 80 percent now listen to it changes the pitch it actually so doesn't sound so bad let's actually keep it to maintain audio pitch and listen to it again this video is brought to you by premium beat an exclusive source of royalty free tracks for your creative needs. So that was the Ant-Man shrinking effect. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button here below. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.